Hey. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's cool. No, it's... I, here. Uh, I think it's coming out. You might be making it worse, actually. Dude, why are you rubbing my boyfriend? I, I just, I spilled coffee on his... Get away from him. Relax. Now, who wants to lead the first group? I do. All right, Tori, choose your actors. Okay, Andre, Kat, Beck, and Jade. Yeah, you. <laughs> Jade, kiss your boyfriend on your own time. Oh, I will. First time here? Um, yeah. If you get nervous, I'll hold your hand. I get nervous when my brother eats things that aren't food. Seriously, I think he ate my charm bracelet. What's your name? Andre. That's hot. All right. You have insane hair. Yeah, uh, my hair was normal, and then one day just went insane. Sad story. I like your story. Um, hi. Miss? What? He has a girlfriend. I don't see her. Turn around. Now you see her. I don't see much. Okay. So, uh, uh, <laughs> hey, did you know that karaoke comes to us from the Japanese? Yeah, how great is Japan, right? Good people. Hey, check out dude's jacket. <laughs> oh. Hollywood Arts, the school for wannabes. You know, you might want to be shutting your face there. Really? Really. Huh. Hey, <laughs> look what they got on the menu. <laughs> buffalo nuggets. <laughs> well, that's good news. <laughs> Not for the buffalo. So, Hollywood Arts, you girls going to sing tonight? Well, we didn't come for the buffalo nuggets. <laughs> But we are gonna get some, right? I don't care. And yeah, we're singing tonight. Awesome. So are we. I like Japan. Except my brother got stabbed there. It was an accident. He's better now. Are buffalo nuggets spicy? I took a class with him last summer. Well, it looked like he was hurting you. Why do you care? Because I figure he already suffers enough pain dating you. You want to see pain? Hey, why don't we go sit over there? Hey, we're not done talking about this. I am. Well, I'm not. Listen, Alyssa Vaughn is just a friend. Yeah, a friend who's already sent you six text messages today. Seven. You don't know that's her. Is it? What's your favorite tropical fruit? The mango, and I don't like your new little relationship with Alyssa Vaughn. It's a text message. And what does it say? Maybe, hi, Beck. My daddy just got richer and I got prettier. Let's make out. OK, let me see if I understand you. Let's see if you do. Because you and I date, I can't be friends with other girls. You can be friends with ugly girls. <laughs> but not girls who are gorgeous socialites who text message you 100 times a day. You know, you, Tori, Tori. Kitty, come here. What? If you were my girlfriend. Oh, great way to start the question. Would you be all freaked out that I'm just friends with Alyssa Vaughn? Who cares what she thinks? Honestly, I wouldn't love it. I care what she thinks. How can you say that? You don't even. You know, I really don't want to be in the middle of this. No, you stay right here. No. You don't think a girlfriend should distrust her boyfriend? No, I, I do. Get out of here, Tori. I'd love to. Stay. Oh. All right, you know what? Tell me what. No, no, don't tell him what. 
We're done. Jade! So you're breaking up with me? No, 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 she's not. Yeah, I am. Oh, she is. You're being ridiculous! What do you care? I'm not your girlfriend anymore! Guess what? What? I'm glad Jade and I broke up. Why? Because I can't remember the last time she did one nice thing for me. Oh, come on, didn't you just have a birthday? She didn't get you anything for your birthday? She got me a can of lemonade. Because he likes lemonade. Yeah, but out of a can? He drank it. Yeah, but do I have a boyfriend or don't I? Do you want one? Walk away. I don't trust that rider guy. Oh, you just hate the idea of anything good happening for me. That could not be more true. I'm just saying, any dude that hot and that perfect has to be hiding something. So I guess you think Beck's hiding something. Oh, he was. Until I found out. What, what was I hiding? That you were born in Canada. It wasn't a secret. From Northridge, it's queries for couples. <laughs> Beck and Jade? Your query is, you're stranded on a boat in the ocean. I don't go in the ocean. Just let him finish the question. I don't like the ocean. Guys. We are trying to help our friend with his game show. You know what happened to me when I was in third grade and I went into the ocean. The dolphin was just being friendly. Dolphins creep me out, so I will not go in the ocean. Just say A, B, or C. B! Maybe it was A. I don't care. I'm not happy with our relationship. I'm done talking about it! No, we're not. He's kidnapping me! You all see it! Kidnapper! Kidnapper! Let go! Kidnapper? This is not funny. Right! What's funny is you freaking out over a dumb game show. We were voted worst couple. And the other two couples weren't even real couples. <laughs> and one had Robbie in it. Why do you care if we were voted worst couple? It's a matter of... <gasps> is this a closet party? Look, I have spoons. Yeah, come here. We need your opinion on something. On global warming? No. Because I don't think that's really happening. Cats. Seriously, I went to the movies the other night and it was so cold. Cats. Hi. We need your opinion on us. Why not just ask a monkey? I saw a movie about a monkey. He wore glasses and carried a gun. <laughs> Don't you think Jade and I fight a lot? Sure. Yeah, but but all boyfriends and girlfriends fight a lot, don't they? Well, sometimes we... Yes or no! <laughs> Let her talk! You never listen to me talk! Can I go now? No! What is your point here, anyway? I would like to have a girlfriend I can talk to without it turning into a screaming match. Yeah, well, I'd like a boyfriend who other girls don't stare at all the time. I thought this was a closet party. <laughs> How is it my fault girls stare at me? No, you could look worse if you wanted to. I'm under my bed, I'm under my bed, I'm under my bed. I can't believe how jealous you get. Oh, oh, so you think I'm ugly. What? Who did I say she was ugly? No, Kat thinks we're a perfect couple. Kat, are Jade and I a perfect couple? I... Don't answer that! Answer it! Say nothing! Come on! You come on! Well, you made Kat faint. I'm late for class. We're gonna have to finish this sooner or later. Later! Okay, Jade, what do you hate? Uh, tuna fish, flowers, uh, giggling, the word panties, cilantro, rainbows, ducks. Man, I hate ducks. Cramps, string cheese, clocks, wet doorknobs, bras that hook in the front, the color yellow, carpeting. <laughs> Hey, man. Oh, hey. Jade's not here yet? I'm about Jade. Yeah? Look, don't take this the wrong way, but I don't know if she's the right girl to sing my song. Why not? I don't know. I just... She scares me. Jade scares you? She scares everybody. I am gonna kill him! Oh. What happened? Sinjin sat on my new scissors. Okay, okay, calm down. I'm not gonna calm down. They're bent. They've lost their sins. Yeah.
You kids have fun. Why don't they make the plane out of the same stuff they make the black box out of? Um, hello? That was quite an amusing commentary. I'll need to see a license and registration. Oh, sorry there, Constable. I don't own a motor car and therefore have no such documents in me charger pockets. Why don't you stop invading my personal space and have a little of this raisin bread? I'm game, so why don't you pop a dabble in me mouth? Well, aren't you two having a fun time eating raisin bran together? Well, it's all door. Just be careful now, Mr. British man, because who knows what terrible things might happen to you if that continues. Hey, what you doing? Cutting up a big trash can. You cut up the janitor's entire trash can? He's got another one. Oh, hey. I just wanted to remind you guys that I'm going away to Cancun with Beck's family for semester break, and you guys have nothing fun to do. OK, uh, it's going to be me, Andre, Kat. No, no, I don't want to ask her. No. We'll both ask her. What's going on? My aunt says we can't go to Cancun. Oh, how come? She found out I was bringing Jade. <laughs> so we hear some of you guys are going to Yerba. Yes. Yes, we are. Would you like to come to Yerba with us, Beck? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. Hmm. Jade, do you have a question for me? Can I come to Yerba? Hmm. Maybe. But first, you got to give me a hug. No, just do it. Oh, see? Giving Tori a big old hug isn't such a bad thing. OK, that's really tight. Oh, God, help me! Hit by a scientist in a government lab, or? Who's that? Jade, let me see what she wants. No. Hey, look, we're doing this project that's due tomorrow morning, so... Uh... Where have you been? Home? Why? I left you a voicemail, and you haven't called me back. I'm doing homework. So you want to break up with me? Wait, no, no. Why would you think that I want to break up Wh with you? Why do you have that animal? It's my neighbor's dog. His neighbor, the cheerleader. Cheerleader? Why? Why would you say that? Sorry. Why are you doing favors for a cheerleader, and what is she doing for you? It's not what you think. She's just... I'm coming over there. No, no, you don't need to... <laughs> What's that noise? Open the door! Is that Jade? Yeah. I'm busy working on a project! I need to talk to you! Sorry, door's locked. <laughs> now it's not locked. She has a key? No, she has a foot. What is going on? You just kicked my door open. Put the dog down and tell me about this cheerleader chick who lives next door. I'm not going to put the dog down. Oh, aren't you? If you want to meet the cheerleader, she'll be back any minute to pick up her dog. Then I'll wait for her. Whatever you want. Let's just get an F and be done with this. Oh, come on. We can finish the script ourselves. You really want to? Sure. Why don't we just try to... Oh, now what? Is that your cheerleader friend? Come in. Yeah, come in. <laughs> Hi, Beck. <laughs> Hi, Allie. Jade, this is my next door neighbor, Allie. Allie, this is my girlfriend, Jade. Nice to meet you. Hello, Allie. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of Sparkles. Anytime, kiddo. See ya. <laughs> wow, Jade. Looks like you got some competition there. You gonna say you're sorry? You didn't tell me she was nine. You didn't give me a chance. Oh, don't try to turn this around on me. Hey, you well, love making me jealous. Why did you push my Beck, you better just 
Please, not. Listen, I wouldn't have gotten upset with you. Can you guys fight later? Stay out of this, Tori. But I just need Beck to help me right. What? Really? What's up? All right. Okay. What? What? Okay. You want to go there? I wonder what that tech's fighting about. Let's ask him. Hey, you guys. Stay out of there. Back off! I'd rather not get involved. I think that's best. Okay. Unbelievable. Okay. Still fighting with Beck? Oh, yeah. There. Let you text him. <gasps> oh, great. It's, it's you guys. See? They're all here. I told you they'd all be here. Listen, I am sorry that we didn't invite you guys to play, but... Uh... Tell her why you didn't invite us to play. Well... Because we were planning your surprise party? <laughs> what? All right. We didn't invite you guys to play because you two were always screaming at each other, and it makes everybody feel awkward. It makes Cat faint, and sometimes it makes Robbie cry. <laughs> one time. I, I cried one time. Six. Six times! <laughs> See? We fight so much, even our friends don't want us around. Tori's not my friend. I only tolerate Robbie. No one likes Trina, and Kat's basically a pet. Are, are you guys gonna let her say that nobody likes me? So, why don't you guys play cards with us? Look, I, I don't want to be your boyfriend if we're just gonna fight all the time. So you want to break up? No, I, I didn't say that. I'm just saying... That... You guys might break up, because I'm not dating anyone, and I've always thought that Beck and I would make the perfect... <laughs> Next time, it's a hammer! Come on, Beck, take me to get some food. I'm tired of fighting. Okay. I'm gonna walk out that door, and I'm gonna count to ten. Don't forget three. <laughs> some people forget it. <laughs> If I get to 10 and you're not out there, I'm going home. And we're over. One! I would never fight with you. Two! Three! Four! Five! Six! Just give me a chance! Let's play some cards. Okay. Wait one sec. Bex asleep. Give me the dog. Okay. Oh, wait, he has a runny nose. No? Dogs don't know how to blow their nose. Give me the dog. Okay, go on, go in there, go in Beck's face, good boy. <sighs> okay, if this makes Beck like me again, I'm gonna owe you big time. You already owe me big time. <laughs> What's going on? I, I don't know. <laughs> Beck, Beck, are you okay? Does he sound okay? <laughs> Dad! Oh my god! Yes, yes. Oh, no! 
me to get you a dog. Dude! Okay, it was kind of my idea, but I, I didn't think the dog would bug out like that. I, I just wanted you to have a dog because I know you've talked about getting one ever since I met you, and I thought that maybe... You love me again. Who said I stopped? Oh. I ruined the moment. <laughs> it's cool, and I really do owe you. <laughs> hey, um, it's getting kind of late, so I was wondering if maybe you could drive me home. It's not that far a walk. follow each other. <laughs> you got the call. I'm back on the movie. Yay! <laughs> One, two, don't let me get to three. Hey, how you feeling? My eye hurts. Oh yeah, which one? Cute. I want coffee. What's the magic word? Get me some coffee. Please. Actually, the magic word was lotion, but I'll accept your please because you got a boo-boo eye. Two sugars. I know what to do. OK. So before you booked our trip here, you forgot to find out that this is the worst country on Earth? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, don't be such a crabby Kathy. I have every right to be a crabby Kathy. <laughs> That's okay, I got it. Custom. Uh crabby Kathy's about to get a little bit crabbier. <laughs> hey! Get your hands off my boyfriend's head! <laughs> hey. Hi. You are wearing this to the cow well. Okay. What, you don't like it? I, I said okay. You barely even looked at it. I just, I don't really... This is the first social event at this school we're going to since we got back together. Okay. You want to know what I'm going to wear? Uh... I'm going to wear a Hawaiian skirt, a black western top, and a cowboy hat. That sounds great. What is wrong with you? So don't worry, he should be good as new by next week. Thanks. Just have a seat, and as soon as his ointment's ready, I'll bring it out. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'd say this is the perfect way to end our opposite date. Yep, waiting for dog ointment. Hey, actually, we're gonna have an even more perfect ending. What do you mean? Applying dog ointment to the affected area. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, I think this has been a great little experiment. Experiment? We proved that you and I can hang out, you know, just the two of us and not have it turn into a datey thing. No doubt. In fact, when I take you home later, I'm gonna punch you in the arm. <laughs> like... Ow! Too hard. Oh, you baby. You're a baby. No, I'm not. Baby with lots of hair. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Is that a dog? Uh, yeah. Are you two brother and sister? Us? No, no, we're not brother and sister. Why do you ask? Because I heard you say you weren't on a date and you're both so attractive and you've got a similar bone structure. So I figured if you're not on a date, you must be brother and sister. No. We're just buds. See, he used to date this girl, Jade. My ex-girlfriend. And she's, she's sort of my friend. So, you know, it, it'd be weird if he and I dated. Why would that be weird? Because we all hang out together. So? Um, if I could chime in, I think what she's saying is maybe his ex-girlfriend, um... Jade? Jade? Maybe she still likes this boy with the hair. Uh, she kind of walked out on me. That doesn't mean she ain't still got feelings for you. I bet she does. I think we're ignoring the obvious question. 
Do you two have feelings for each other? Is our dog Whiteman ready? <laughs> so why did you let Jay go? Yeah, why'd you let her go? I, I didn't let her go. You know what? I really don't want to talk about this here. He's afraid to face his feelings. Yeah. No, okay? Look, I'll always love Jade as, as a friend, but as a girlfriend, she was... She'd always freak out over every little thing. Sometimes girls do that, because we get scared inside. And we need a man to make us feel safe. Oh, oh now, trust me. Jade isn't scared of anything. You probably just want Beck for yourself. I do not want Beck for my... Look, Beck and I are just friends, all right? So then you told Jade you're hanging out with him tonight. Well, no. Uh-huh. Interesting. OK, you know what? You, you listen to me. And there they are. Oh, man. Jade, things are about to get real. Wow, Tori and Beck are here. Who'd have thunk that they'd be? I, I mean, what a coincidence. Oh, who am I kidding? Wait, so that's Jade? Look, Jade, I can explain why Beck Come and I. Come on, how are you going to explain that you're out on a date with her ex boyfriend? <laughs> it's not a date. They broke up. Tori has every right to go out with Beck. Not really going out. Hey, Beck, which one of them do you think is prettier? <laughs> Why don't you go check your mom's pulse? You have no right to be mad at us, because Beck and I are I'm only... I'm not. You're not... What? I'm not mad. Careful, it's a trick! It's not a trick. I, I thought I was mad, but I mean, now that I'm here, what, what do I have to be mad about? We broke up. We're all friends, kind of. I mean, any of us should be able to hang out with whoever we want. Still thinking it's a trick? It's not. You really okay? Yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. And here's your ointment for Buster. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Every four hours, just rub it right oh, around. It. Oh! 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 Thank God it's you. We thought you were Jane. You want me to go get her? No! <laughs> What's up with you guys? <sighs> Andre and I were trying to... I got dragged into this. It was your idea to pay No, ride. you came to me, and I... Hey, no! Yeah, I should have told you, this is a bad place to hide from Jade. I gotta take this and kill you both with it. How could you kill us with toilet paper? Put it down. Put it down. What are you all wazzed off about? These two butt cheeks paid a guy to ask me out on a date. We were trying to help. Why do I need your help? Because guys are scared to ask you out. That's how I like it. I got dragged into this. See, we thought... You thought. We thought... But if you got asked out by a guy, you'd be more okay if Beck asked out a girl. Oh, my God. How many times do I have to say it? I don't care who you date. We broke up. Ask out any girl you want. See, I said you should have just asked out Meredith. Meredith! Jade? Oh, I knew it. I knew it two years ago when you were in that awful play with her. I think I wrote that play. And Meredith is always like, Oh, Beck, why don't you come over to my house so we can rehearse our lines? Oh, Beck, I brought you some cupcakes. Meredith brings everybody cupcakes. Her dad owns a cupcake shop. He does? Yeah. Frank's Cupcakes. <gasps> Ooh, they're good. Yeah, they make some legit cupcakes. You know what? I don't care. Go out with Meredith. Enjoy her cupcakes. Hey. Hey. So, you Meredith, huh? 
You guys gonna snoodle? There will be no snoodling. What? After everything I've done, I was almost attacked with toilet paper. Look, Meredith is nice, too nice. I think I've learned something about myself. That you're ungrateful to your friend who tried to fix you up with a cute girl? No, I just think I like dating a girl who, you know, fights back. You? I mean, a girl who's got strong opinions, you know, and a big mouth. Why? Because it's not easy. Easy's boring. OK, I get that. So who's not boring? OK, people, let's heat things up for Jane West. Let's go. I've missed you. So what are you going to do about it? <laughs> 